blonde one. It's the blonde one. Pineapple. <laughs> I like pineapple. Hey, pineapple. My fringe has got way too long now, right? So, pancake all eaten, and um, I'm gonna do my traditional chat on the sofa. It's not gonna be a long one today, don't worry. So, today's the most amazing, exciting day because I'm going to sit on Barbie and Belle for the first time ever. Um, they're coming home today, so I'm going to have a little sit on them at Tim's before we bring them home. <gasps> so you guys get to see them getting widden! Woo! Uh, for anyone who doesn't know who Barbie and Belle is, are? Uh, is, are? Uh, are. Uh, um, they are, are, uh, 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 uh. They are, uh, three-year-olds that have just been backed. So, really exciting. Yee! Yay! But before that, um... I have to go and have a root canal done. For anyone who follows me on social media, you'll see on Monday, it's Thursday now, on Monday I had to have an emergency dentist appointment because I had the worst toothache ever. And I was in so much pain. So I went and had it all like dug out because it was massively infected and they had to eject into the tooth with this numbing stuff. Um, and they were like, oh sorry, because it's infected, the anaesthetic won't work as well. I was like, oh! Anyway, so that happened. Um, so I've got to go and have it the root canal done today and I'm going at 11 till 1 which will be fun um, and then oh yeah this morning I am teaching Ellie on her little cool pony and I said that I would sit on him today for her just to show her something so we're gonna do that first then I might ride Dexter because drum roll I'm taking Dexter to the regionals because I sat on him the other day because mum was having a little bit of a moment where she was like, I just can't ride him. I was like, let me sit on him. And then we were both like, oh, damn, actually, it's pretty good. We should go to the regionals. So uh, we're going to Kiso with him. <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, that is what we're doing. It's going to be good. I'm excited. What else is happening? I don't know, really. I'm just all of a fluster. All of a fluster. But yeah, anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> So slimline, Moo. Good. Well done. Right, sit, relax into the saddle. That looks good. How does it feel? Name him Piglet. Good. Well done. That's very good. Well done. Slower. Really, really slow. He's worked hard, hasn't he? He's like, jeez. I'm puffed. Good. That's so good. Look at his face. Everyone said they had withdrawal symptoms from Jaffa. Here she is. In all her glory. 
Jeffy! All her long glory. Hi, Dodo! -do. <laughs> okay, so we're heading off to the dentist now to get a root canal. It's going to take about two hours. Enjoy. Um, yeah, so I'm obviously taking the camera. <laughs> This is Tanya. <laughs> Filming. Is this a first? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> At least you know. At least I know what? About my weird vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine it, you'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you want my signature to sound that I said that? <laughs> <laughs> You okay? Mm -hmm. Just push it through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Alright, Carl. Oh yeah. <gasps> what is what? So now. Okay, my mouth is like droopy because it's, I can't even talk, because it's numb. So that was my second appointment for my tooth and they were like, it won't hurt this time because we've got the infection out. Well, lo and behold, they hadn't got all the infection out, which isn't her fault, it's because she had like a really short time to do it last time. So they were injecting the anaesthetic into it again and it was so painful. And there's this one canal, that's because you've got four canals in your tooth. There's this one canal that was just absolutely ridiculous. So I've got another two appointments. It's time to go and get the babies. We're on a tight schedule today. <laughs> I go anywhere, anywhere with you Cause you fill my mind Oh, you fill my mind We could build a dream Start up something new Let the old be dead Let the shadows leave my head When the world is on your shoulders And you feel like falling over Just come a little closer I'll be there for you, I'll be there for you Cause when we are together I know you feel the tension Just let me in so I can be there for you, there for you The night is young, won't you sing for me Won't you sing for me, till we fall asleep The night is young, won't you sing for me Won't you sing for me, till we fall asleep The night is young, won't you sing for me Won't you sing for me, till we fall asleep Do it on repeat I could stay awake till the night is through With you by my side With you by my side Though we've only met With my heart open When the world is on your shoulders And you feel like falling Yeah, and give them a little tootle Yeah, I, I, I just get on them and just ride, just ride them up the road and Yeah, we will, yeah for a few days. Yeah, definitely We'll definitely do that <laughs> Yeah, so when they get a bit tired Then you start to lose your steering a bit in that, yeah? You look a bit shell-shocked <laughs> Oh, you look grown up too. 
though. It's the blonde one. It's the blonde one. Pineapple. <laughs> I like pineapple. Hey, pineapple. Pineapple. And you guys are like, who's pineapple? Just come a little closer. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. Cause when we are together, I know you feel the tension. Just let me in your head so I can be there for you. There for you. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Yeah, that's on the real. Yeah. This is a holiday. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for that. Let's go. Come on. Today's the day. Today's the day. <laughs> Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me till we fall asleep? The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? We do it on repeat. Both a bit downhill at the moment. Yeah. Come up on the shoulder, they'll do that. This yeah, is really good, Leanne. Keep going. For me, won't you sing for me till we fall asleep? The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me till we fall asleep? The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? We do it on repeat Do it on Part of the outside rain and just send around. Go on, inside leg on. That's it. Look, look, look where you're going. Yeah, good. Girl. Yeah. That's better. Hold on. Yeah, good, Olivia. Do you see what I mean about this arena absorbing heat? Our horses actually just had 10 days on, well, about to have 10 days on. All of them? Yeah, because they just, the heat's got to them a bit. They're just a bit drained. Just the older ones, yeah. Yeah. Do it on repeat. <laughs> She's off, there we go, flying. Flying, yeah. Meow. <laughs> yeah, good. Going to venting now. <laughs> yeah, should we stick a fence up? Take care. Yeah, good, well done. And then just, just try to wrap around. Take care. Yeah, good. They're both so good though, aren't they? I love my mares though. They're really, they're really good in that many. Yeah, yeah. Uh, certainly a venting I haven't. I've had a few, and they've all been quite good. Yeah, I can't, I don't think there's any difference. I think they try a bit harder later. So they're all ridden, and they were amazing! <laughs>
Yeah, Tim did such a good job. I said to him, I've never felt so safe for three year olds in my life. Like, say that, you must come off. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna work them tomorrow and then the following day and then they're gonna have two months off. Um, <laughs> last year getting broken in. Now I'm a big boy, I am. So I've just finished teaching someone and now I'm going to go and do some work because oh, big things are happening for the um, Olivia Towers shindig. So I've got to organise it. It's a big job but um, I'm well excited to tell you guys what it is. Okay, so it's the day after the vlog and I was just editing it and I was like, I want to answer two questions on here that I know I'm going to get asked. And I always get asked, and I got asked last year, so I want to answer them. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just run upstairs. Answer them now. So the first question I always get is, why do you not break your own young horses in yourself? The reason because of this is because I don't feel confident enough to do it. And I don't mean confidence as in being brave enough to get on them, but I mean knowing what to do, knowing the routine to do with them, so I didn't want like pride to get in the way of my like affect the horse's education. So I send them off. Um, also, it's really good because they get to go away. Um, they're away from home. They grow up so much when they're away. They go in the lorry. They go in an outdoor school as well because we don't have an outdoor school. They go hacking there and the hacking is a lot better there than we have here. We have a lot of cars around here. They go in the orchards because as well, Tim is an event rider. They get to go out with his older event horses. They get to go in the orchards with them. They get to learn how to be horses. Um, the reason I love Tim and the reason I send them to Tim is because he's not about like getting them on the bit, um, all that sort of thing. He's just about them being horses and learning in a really nice way. Um, it's not about outline, it's just about them going forwards. He does the breakers for race horses and stuff. He does like a whole mixture. So, you know, these horses aren't even thinking about dressage at the moment. They're just thinking about getting used to having a rider on them and going forwards, which is the most important thing for young horses is to not have too much pressure put on them early, um, to not shove them into an outline too quickly until they're um, strong enough to handle that. Um, but yeah, that's really why I send them away. I mean, I would happily break ho my horses in if I had like, say, if I had Tim on the ground every day, um, I would have gone over there and got on them and that's fine, like that doesn't bother me. Um, but I just don't feel like, yeah, I, I would just, like personally, I just really want that support there. So it's easier for me to send them off. Um, but that is why, yeah. So second question is why do we wear spurs on the young horses? I know it's quite a controversial topic, um, not one that I want to shy away from. So the reason we wear spurs on the young horses is to teach them that they go off the leg um, and they go forward. Like I just said, the main thing about with the young horses is that they go forward. That's not just for their training, that's also for safety. Um, you are in trouble when the horse isn't going forwards. They can do whatever when they're not going forwards. They can spook a lot more and there's a bigger risk of you coming off, which will frighten the young horse. Um, and also you can injure yourself. So we wear them to get the horses going off our leg. Also because um, Tim and the girls that break them in and also me, we've got quite a steady leg because we are seasoned riders. Um, we don't have to use a spur all the time, so I could ask the horse to go forward from my calf, not necessarily the spur, but the spur is there in case I need that extra, like, come on, we're off we go. Um, and then you just take it off and you relax it. And I just find, if I put the spurs on, I don't nag them, um, and I think that's one of the worst things you can do with a young horse and any horse, is just nag with your leg all the time. So it's kind of like, come on, off you go, and then just leave them alone, instead of like, kick, 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 kick. And also, if you constantly kick, you like end up flapping and wobbling around and moving around and eventually obviously you want the horse to go off the seat and off a lighter aid but when they are this young they just do not understand. So this isn't me saying that you have to wear spurs to break young horses in, this is just why we do. Um, sometimes not all of them need spurs. Uh, I know like Molly didn't need spurs for ages um, but that is why and I know not everyone's going to agree with that but 
I know that I can go to bed happy knowing that I'm treating my horses in the best possible way. Um, they're happy, I'm happy. So crack on with the comments. But anyway, that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, let me know why. Tag a friend, tell them about the vlogs. Uh, subscribe, like, share, all that jazz, and I'll see you for the next one.